everyone, this is Lokahol and in this video we are going to be crafting some physical weapons. We're gonna try craft a jeweled foil, a two-handed axe, and maybe even a bow. And we're just gonna be using good old jagged fossils, which give us more physical modifiers and no chaos modifiers. First things first, when crafting physical weapons, is to use a perfect fossil to try and get the quality as close to 30% as possible, depending on your budget. Something like 28% might be a great choice. If you've got tons of money and you want to go for close to perfect, get 30%. But if you are low on money, just aim for, you know, 28% plus. Let's see if we can get something on this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that normally does not happen. But we've got 30% and 28%. And this one was already on 30%. Let me find a place to put these... So to do this, all we're going to do is hit it with some jagged fossils and hope we get something good. And this will be harvest 3.14 focused. So there will be some cool harvest things that we can do with these weapons once we get something good. So we're still going to see a whole lot of elemental damage to attack rolls. But there will be a way to get around that. And once we get something good, some good physical damage, I will show you what we can do. So again, bear in mind that the tiers of physical damage are very different, at least for flat, on one-handed weapons compared to two-handed weapons. So pay attention to the tiers if you're not familiar with them. And all we want to find now is something like tier 1 or tier 2 flat with decent percent. Oh, I ran away. My character's trying to get away from the fossil crafting. Once again, we're not going for perfect, but if we can get something pretty nice, then then we would be happy. Now this is almost good. I hmm. What we could do with this is remove non-fizz, add fizz, and it very much, well, it would add flat fizz. So I'm not gonna do it for this one. Once we get something slightly better, we'll do that. But harvest is going to be useful, even with 3.14, because fizz weapons, Ooh, that is tyrannical, which is tier two. Fizz weapons are going to be craftable in harvest. We're going to be able to augment. We're not going to be able to remove, but we will be able to do remove non-type to type. Again, we're not certain if remove non-type to type is going to be functional on influence items, but in this case, it actually doesn't matter. So I rolled past that tyrannical because being a little bit lazy and it also had fizz leash's life which was blocking one of the suffixes which is just not very nice hopefully get something good yep that's not very good 46 percent 70 11 to 19 mm, tier 6 flat There is another way to do this with corroded, prismatic, and jagged. And the corroded and prismatic kind of block each other out and cancel out all the elemental mods. So there is a higher chance to get fizz. But in terms of cost efficiency, that's much more expensive because corroded fossils are quite pricey. So we're just going to stick to the boring single jagged fossil. Ooh, all right, let's see. Tier 3, Tier 5, not good enough. That's Tier 2. So that might have looked like quite a low fizz roll, flat fizz, but as you can see, it's not too bad. This is bad. I believe, yep, that's Tier 2 again. Ah, my character's really trying to get away from the fossils. It says, no, give me back harvest. This isn't real crafting. This is tier 4%. Now, depending on your budget and at what point in the league you are in, 
that's going to affect how hard you try to get something great. I'm sort of thinking early league right now. I'm pretending, okay, we're in early league. Let's try to just get something decent, sort of 400 PDPS. Hopefully we at least get one with decent flat and decent, oof. No, that's not good. That's actually T6, T5 hybrid. That's not good. Hopefully we get something with at least two decent modifiers then we can incorporate harvest into the mix. In general, crafting Fizz weapons is one of the hardest things in this game because there are so many tiers, so many rolls, so much weight. You can do it with, if you're going for ultra perfect high end, you would probably create a base that you would dupe and then, you know, try fracture one of the mods. But we're pretending we are broke and getting what we can. Oof, okay. If that was actually tier four, we might have done something. That is flaring. So that's tier one, but we hit tier 7%. So I would move on from that. Sadly, this is about quantity over quality. There's no real guarantee at least with fizz weapons when it comes to fossils. So you're just gonna have to keep, and I know people hate hearing that, gonna have to keep trying. And then once you get something decent, then we can incorporate harvest and try get something a little bit better. I can see why people hate this. If you struggle to make money and you spend all your money to try and get an upgrade, and you do this and have the kind of luck I'm having right now. Yeah. I can see why that would either be frustrating or you would just say, screw it, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go to the trade site. At least the trade site is guaranteed. Still nothing even remotely good. Ooh. So there's Tyrannical again. Let's pull this into Craft of Exile because I think we could do something pretty, pretty decent with this. All right, so we have recreated this item in Craft of Exile. And the reason I didn't roll past this is because we don't have a bad Fizz mod like Fizz Leech's Life blocking one of our prefixes. So, what can we do on this? Well, we can go remove non-fizz, add fizz. Most of the fizz mods are prefixes, so we'll probably remove cold or lightning damage. Here we've got hybrid, tier eight. It's not great, but we can do it again and hope that we get rid of this and get a decent flat. This is one of the fizz suffixes that we can get, but we can just hit it again and Oh, wow. Okay, so we got tier two flat. That's really good. Now, if we wanted to finish this thing off, let's say this is fairly early on in league. Prefixes cannot be changed. Again, I think this should maybe cost one X instead of two. Scour off our bad suffixes. And then we could multi-mod it. So we would go, can have up to three crafted modifiers. And I would craft on attack speed. And then also quality and accuracy rating or quality and strength or something like that. Again, quality improves the base physical DPS. So now we've got a pretty great sword, but it's not finished. There is one more thing that we can do. So you'll notice that all of these mods have the attack tag. We've got attack, 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 except for can have up to three crafted modifiers. So what do we do? Remove non-attack, add attack. And there are some decent attack suffixes, things like crit multi, no, not crit multi. Yeah, I believe crit, crit chance, crit multi, 
and accuracy. Some of them are going to be good, some of them are going to be bad, but anything is better than nothing. This is literally a nothing mod. We can get rid of it and still keep our crafted suffixes. So let's do that. There we go. Tier 3 crit chance. If you get this in the first week of League, that's pretty damn sick. I don't know the exact PDPS of this. I can quickly calculate it. This is a 466 PDPS sword with crit chance and crit multi. If you get this in the first week, you're doing great. Of course, this was kind of lucky, but I showed you how we could use remove non-type to type to make it even better and end up with something pretty good using harvest. Without harvest, we wouldn't have been able to get rid of that cold and lightning damage. Instead, we, we were able to and we ended up with something pretty solid. Let's move on to our influenced axe. Now this is going to be a little bit harder because there are more modifiers. And also we may or may not be able to do remove non-type to type because it's influence. Once again, we have no idea whether or not that will be allowed. So here we have <laughs> tier 4, tier 2, which is pretty decent, but we've also got this fizz damage leached as life and skills fire an additional projectile okay that's weird if i got this you can either settle for the what it is or you could go over to the bench and prefixes cannot be changed scour it you've now got this which is it's all right it's not bad then we could craft on a suffix, any suffix, and try to do another remove non-fizz add fizz. So again, let's hop into Craft of Exile. I'll show you there. I don't want to have to go buying stuff on the Forbidden Trove now. So let's pull this into the Forbidden Craft of Exile. So while I'm here, let's look at PoEDV. We are looking at the mods on physical axes, two-handed axes that can roll with the Elder Suffix. Now there is this amazing mod that says hits with this weapon have culling strike against bleeding enemies, but this also removes bleeding when you use a war cry. Also physical damage converted to chaos damage and damage with bleeding. If we can get this, this would be fantastic. So what we're going to do is remove non-fizz, add fizz. So we can craft on anything that doesn't have the fizz tag and then remove non-fizz, add fizz, hoping to hit that very nice hybrid fizz suffix. I mean, there we go. That was kind of lucky. Let's say we instead hit the chaos conversion. I mean, if we hit removes bleeding when you use a war cry, again, just craft on another suffix and do it again and then now this is when you need to make a decision do you craft on another suffix and do it again personally i would not do that because now what do you do you're kind of jammed you can't craft on prefixes cannot be changed and scour so if you want something decent you could get to this point and then you say okay well this sucks I'm just going to go prefixes, cannot be changed, scour, and you'll end up back here. And then go remove non-fizz, at fizz. Craft on another suffix, remove non-fizz, at fizz. Again, unlucky. Try again. Craft on something. Still unlucky. You can see this is kind of expensive, but there, eventually we get it. Now, final step. What can we do? Well, we could then just craft on attack speed or something like that, like increase attack speed and quality. And now we have an axe that does. This is about a 750 PDPS axe, which is again, early in league, super, super strong. Although that whole remove suffixes kind of suck. That was a bit rough. Maybe you would want to do something like reforge suffixes, keeping your prefixes, but eh, I don't know. Hopefully, hopefully by the time this video comes up, they've clarified, but I mean, as far as I understand, remove non-type to type is going to be allowed on influence items. However, whew, wow, okay, 
This is pretty sick. We hit flaring with that fizz damage mod. So again, with this, what we could do is remove non-fizz, add fizz. Again, assuming that that's allowed. If we did that, we would just get something. We would add the percent fizz and hybrid fizz, hopefully, and end up with something pretty decent. I'm going to move on to this bow. And once again, same thing, just spam with jagged fossils. You can actually do this too if you want to make bleed bows like this. You see we hit that bleeding damage mod. If you haven't seen my bleed bow crafting videos, check those out. But you can also just craft it with jagged fossils. Hmm. Tier 4. But I think you're starting to get the idea. We're just going to be using perfect fossils to get decent quality. Here we hit tier 3. Then we're going to be using Jagged and remove non-fizz, add fizz. At least that is guaranteed to be functional on non-influenced items. If it is usable on influenced items, that'll be very strong. There will be some very cool things we can do. I know, once again, this isn't as good as Harvest was, but I'm trying to show you what we can do and what we can't do. I know it uh, it hurts, it hurts, but you can either complain about it or try and figure out what the heck we are capable of doing. The thing with fossils is a lot of people say, oh, it's just pure gambling. But a lot of people who do craft using fossils will tell you that they make tons of profit with certain fossil crafts. Huh, tier two with that bleed mod. They make tons of money and the fact that they consistently are able to generate currency from crafting using fossils, that implies that it's cheaper to use fossils to make your own gear than it is to buy it. Otherwise, the people selling it wouldn't be making consistent profit. The thing that sucks about that is you need to have a bankroll to fall back on for when you fail because it is heavily RNG dependent. If you fail, then, well, now you have no money. But if you are someone who has, you know, 20, 30, 40 X early in league, and you do a crafting session and it goes badly, you have something to fall back on. Wow, Whew. that is tier three, tier five. So I will be releasing a video on generating currency consistently i think that is something that a lot of new players struggle with but uh, it's it takes practice it takes time but it is possible you can be a player who you know makes 40x 50x in a league it's not impossible it just takes time and practice and knowledge but i think you are getting the idea this is just rolling the dice with jagged fossils, then remove non-type to type, and hopefully ending up with something decent, like this little jeweled foil, which we would go remove non-type to type and replace the cold and lightning. Same with this thing. I'm just going to finish off these fossils. Maybe we get something nice, and then that'll be it for this video. That is tier 3, Cruel. Another t oh nope hybrid. Slowly dying inside. Doesn't feel bad because it's standard and I'm not really losing any money, but hopefully we can get something decent. Hmm. Ooh. There we go, that is tier two. Second time I've got that. With this, we would go, assuming we can, remove non-fizz, add fizz, and hopefully convert that cold damage into percent fizz damage. I'm just gonna roll past it because I'm not gonna go do that right now. And I wanna get rid of these fossils. But yeah, 
I think I've made it pretty clear about how to do this. Last four fossils. Tier four. And last one. Hmm. Nothing particularly amazing. These, this, and this are very craftable using the methods I showed you. We didn't necessarily hit anything amazing, but Harvest does provide some ways to go from marginal to pretty damn good. And hopefully you learn something. Once again, I'm sorry Harvest isn't as strong as it was. Crafting physical weapons was always awful. Even with Harvest, it was awful. But hopefully you learned some techniques to craft some fizz weapons using fossils and Harvest. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and follow me on Twitch and have a good day and stay safe and bye bye. Bye bye. Bye 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 bye. I'll figure out an outro LD, I promise. Bye. Exile. You're making me nervous.